NBC on 9. Neighbors in one El Paso area are arguing over where parking rules in the city. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cav is live in the newsroom with what they're saying and where the city says you're allowed to park. In crowded neighborhoods, sometimes it can be hard to find a spot in front of your home, which leads to some parking in front of their neighbor's house. And that's what's sparking some problems in one Central El Paso neighborhood. In a Central El Paso residential neighborhood, one neighbor has been upset that other neighbors park in front of his homes. Robert Cormel, a well-known person in the city who ran for city council in 2017 and mayor in 2013, would leave notes on windshields asking them to park somewhere else, and even coming to one tenant store asking her to move her car. And it, it is it's scary for me to live here and know that he could come pounding on my door at any time of night. I didn't think he was going to do that from just writing notes, and he still did. She explains she wants to park in front of her house, but it's a busy public street, and there isn't always parking available. We went out to the neighborhood to give you a closer look at the issue. So, for example, let's say I lived in this house right here, but as you can see right now, there are no open parking spaces in front of my home. So, I'm going to park back here in this free open parking spot, except for now, this parking spot is in front of my neighbor's house. I reached out to the city of El Paso, and they told me you cannot tell someone where they can and cannot park on a public street. However, Cormel argues that some houses have too many cars for one house, and they should be courteous. This is, this is the rule. This is the, the unsaid rule. You, you know, the city can say, you can't tell anybody to park, and you're right. But you can live with people, and you can live with neighbors peaceably. According to the city, there are portions of Arizona Avenue that do have parking restrictions, but this area does not. The only thing you cannot do is block someone's driveway. You have El Paso. Other places you cannot stop or park your vehicle includes in an intersection, on a sidewalk, within 15 feet of a fire hydrant, or within 20 feet of a crosswalk. Reporting live in the newsroom, Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News. Thanks, Shelby. In a developing